Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and Technology and just uh, to answer a simple question a lot of people are asking is, you know, will this channel continue to focus on Windows 10? Uh, what is going to happen to this channel? And it's going to simply go as the flow, which means, of course, Windows 10 is the main focus for now. Once again, we went through the introduction of Windows 11 not much to say unless there's some really big news that will be worth mentioning i'll not talk about it much once again like i say most of what i do with windows 11 right now is on the insider ring so it's on my windows insider fan page and here we're going to continue focusing on windows 10. windows 10 is still the operating system that everybody uses and windows 11 is not coming at least before early next year so we are going to refocus, of course, on Windows 10. What happens when Windows 11 is released? Then it's going to be a mix. That means I'll still focus a lot on Windows 10, which will still be the majority, but we'll have videos of Windows 11 in there. And um, hopefully that for those that enjoy Windows 11, you'll have what you want. For those that have Windows 10, you'll have what you want. And we'll readjust all of that depending on the usage. You know, it's going to take time for Windows 11 to take off. Um, minimum requirements, if they don't change, will actually have a very small, um, you know, impact at first on people upgrading because a lot of people will be unable to do so and are still going to be on Windows 10. And for everybody that is on Windows 10, I will continue. Of course, uh, talking about the uh, famous uh, Windows 10 operating system. I mean, we are 1.3 billion people using Windows 10 right now. I don't expect Windows 11 to reach a billion people in a year. It's going to reach, you know, maybe a few hundred million people in, in a few years. But we'll see. And the minimum requirement will make it probably a slower progress than Windows 10 is capable of. One thing for sure, anybody that, you know, Apart from the, the interface of Windows 11, um, remember that everything is still going to work in Windows 10. And there isn't a thing that you can do in Windows 11 that you won't be able to do in Windows 10. And that, that's something to remember. So, of course, the focus is going to be there. And we are continuing to focus on Windows 10 here. So don't worry, guys. Um, we will uh, have the videos that you guys want to see uh, mostly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.